Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, I've already shown you how to build a PC inside of the Anadis AI Crystal Case, beautiful case, and I've done an unboxing video for you of the Sapphire Radeon RX 480 card, the 8GB card. Um, how does this get in here? Okay, that doesn't work. So, anyway, for those of you that have never installed a video card before, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. For those of you that maybe know how to do it and have done it before, that maybe need some pointers, I'm going to help you out here as well. We've all been in that spot the very first time. We didn't know what we were doing. I'm going to help you guys out so that you guys know how to do it because a lot of places will charge you like 80 bucks or 100 bucks. 200 bucks to get this installed you can do it at home for free it's not that hard you know I'm gonna help you guys out all right so anyway let me show you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 480 video card in here the first thing we're going to need to do when updating to this bad boy is obviously we're going to need to open up our case so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up I'm not gonna show you how to do that because well Everybody has a different case. All right. All right. To do this, we're going to need a screwdriver, typically Phillips head. All right. Now, in my case, it's a little bit different. So, first off, to remove this card, I'm going to actually have to remove this back panel. Kind of a locking mechanism here. You can see that right here. I got to take this screw out. Just remove that. That's going to allow this to be moved over. Okay, and now I'm able to undo these screws. Typically, these screws are on the inside of the case. And let me just show you over here. On this particular case, it's on the back. Okay, now. I'm removing these screws because these are the screws holding down the video card. And obviously if we're removing that video card, we need to remove those screws. Okay, now we can see that's moving a lot. And then that's again for the video card itself. Now let me bring you in a little tiny bit closer because you can't just pull on this. If you do, you're actually going to rip the PCI slot out. So let me zoom you in a little bit closer to see something you're going to have to do typically in most motherboards. So this is the top of the card itself. Okay, back here, you'll find a little kind of button, you can say. You push it down here. Okay. And that is going to um, push it down here so you can see a little bit better. That's actually going to release the video card, or at least what's holding it in place. So to remove the video card, push that down, pull the card out a little tiny bit. All right, and that's it. The card is loose. Now I'm going to zoom out. Now you can see card's kind of hanging there. All right, so now I'm just going to All right. Now, because of the card, this has two PCIe 8 pin power. So I'm just going to remove those. All right. So now I've taken that card out. All right, so now we have a free slot. Now, mind you, that's only important if you already have a video card. You may not have a video card there. Okay, now, if you were using onboard video, 
there would be no card here. There might be some cards down here, but there would be no card here. Now, you would still need to remove, if I move back here, you would still need to remove these I.O. covers, you know, so because obviously you can't plug in anything here, but since this one's already moved, you can see that's where I'm going to be plugging in my video. All right, so let's go back in here. And now we have the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 480 video card. Much in the same way we removed the other video card, we're going to put this video card in. So just make sure, first off, that you align the back of the card with the back of the case because that's where you're going to be plugging in your DVI or HDMI or DisplayPort adapters. Okay, so you're going to be mostly seating this, these guys, these pins down here, on the back here between the motherboard and the case itself. So just align them. Now it's again, it's a little bit more difficult with this case, but once you align them, everything goes in place and you just easily push the card in. Now, let me zoom in a little bit closer to show you, give you a little bit more detail on how I did that. Again, I'm gonna push this little button out here. All right, and I slid the card out. Okay, here's the card. Now, I'm sliding these two guys back here between the motherboard and the case. There's a little tiny slot, okay? And now, putting that in there. Okay, and then now I'm pushing these gold pins into the PCIe slot. Now another thing, and I'm just going to let go, it's already in there. When I'm pushing it in, you'll notice that little button kind of just go ding, pop down, and then pop back up, locking in place. Watch closely. Notice that? It went, I'll show you again. Watch closely. So, aside from that, now you've just installed the video card. Now, mind you, let me zoom out. Now, you're still going to need to plug in the PCIe connections, but if you notice, this card only has one. So, all other cards I've had, had two. So, now I'm just going to get rid of these clips here. Now, this is just for cabling sake, just to keep it nice and neat. Now I'm just going to tuck this guy down, down into this little slot here, just to keep cabling nicer. Now I'm going to plug this guy back here, just turn it around so you can see. Alright, the clip is going to have to go on the top because there's a little thing up here, the little notch. All right, now you notice just like that PCI, that clip up there did, when I clipped it in, this little notch came up and came back down. All right, so now let me go ahead and zip tie that a little bit just to make it look nicer. All right. And mind you, you may have your very own way of cabling, which is great. And obviously since I do this so much, I kind of have to come up with my own way of cabling to make it quick and easy for you guys. So I'm just going to zip tie this like that, slightly out of sight, uh, out of sight. Okay. Twirl this around the back, and that's it. It's not totally hidden, but it's better than just having them 100% exposed. 
And then now we're going to place that locking mechanism back in place. All right. So now we just put that back down. Perfect. Now, obviously, to unscrew that, I didn't need to to uh, to unscrew the video card. I didn't need to move that locking mechanism out of place, but to remove the video card, I did. It's an awkward mechanism, but it's not a bad one. It's actually pretty great when you're shipping machines. Locks it right in place. All right, and now the screw here. All right, that's it. So cards in place, completely installed, and that's it. Now mind you, you're going to have to boot into Windows and install the drivers and all that good stuff, but I'll show you that in the review itself. But anyway, now I've just shown you how to install a video card. Mind you, this was me installing the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 480 into the EVGA X99 classified motherboard but this same concept will work with most motherboards and most video cards. So hopefully this will help you out a little bit, not only for this particular video card, but for all your future, maybe AMD Sapphire updates. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger, again showing you how to install the AMD Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 480 video card. See you guys.